Hey guys, welcome to another webinar for the author webinar series. We are going to get started right away. Today we are going to talk about uh, uh, book promotional strategies and specifically uh, a list of promotional strategies that you can use to your advantage. And I have, as I mentioned in the introductory video of the webinar, I have several strategies to share with you. This is a list that I've had for many, many years. And uh, these were ideas that came from various locations and various um, places that I've done some um, promotions. So I compiled all these ideas into one list and I decided that I was going to share this list with you guys. So let's get started right away. We have a lot to cover. And uh, this webinar will focus strictly on the ideas. I am not gonna go into detail too much because the the idea of the webinar is to give you as many strategies as possible so you can have a number of things to pick from. So let's jump right in. I'm going to begin by sharing my screen here. So we can jump right in. All right, OK, so you should be able to see my screen now. And uh, as I mentioned, this is the ultimate book promotional promotion checklist. So the, the objectives of the webinar is to give you options. As an author, you need to have options to promote your book, not just one option, but more, but, but, but several options. So you need to, to know when to use these options. And this webinar will give you a list of strategies that will give you those options. And objective number two is to ramp up your promotion, your promotional efforts. So if you have a lot of options, you have a lot of things that you can do with those promotional strategies. You can pick the right ones for you and uh, be able to, to get the results that you want as an author. And the third objective is to understand when to promote each of the ideas. So some of these you have to promote before your book comes out, some of these ideas you have to use while you are launching your book, and some of the ideas have to be used after you launch your book, and some of them are a combination of a little bit of everything. And finally, we will talk about how long you should promote um, your book, how long you should be using each of these strategies to your advantage. Okay. So, who is this webinar for? The webinar is really for anyone, uh, specifically for authors, of course, but you can use it to promote a book specifically. However, you can use it to promote any product that that needs to, to be presented in front of a, a number of people or in front of an audience. And of course, anyone who's looking to increase readership, if you are either a new author, an aspiring author, or uh, an experienced author, you can use the promotional ideas for this web in that are covered, that I will cover in this webinar, okay? And a little bit about myself, I am a self-published author. I, I am a blogger as well, and I speak publicly. So my topics of focus are motivational, I also, I just started doing some life coaching on the side as well, and I started a podcast. And these are some of the some of the uh, books that I'm working on. The book projects. One is a poetry book, and one is a children's book. And this is a this is a cover art for my podcast. I'm also an entrepreneur, so I do more than just writing books. I do a lot of things on the side to kind of find different avenues for for. Uh, for uh, taking care of, of myself and my family. I'm also a father, I have three kids and, and I'm married. Okay, so that was a little bit about me. And uh, why should you use these promotional tips? Well, believe it or not, some people write books just for the fun of it, just to, be, to have the luxury of being called an author. But I suspect that if you're watching this, you are part of the majority of people who actually want to have people buy their books so they want a readership they want people to follow them and buy their books and also 
get sales. So if you are, perhaps you're an author and you want to do this for a living, in, in that case, you want to make sure you get sales. So this webinar should help give you ideas on how you can promote your book. So as I mentioned, there are numerous strategies and I think I promised to cover over 49 of them and we will actually go straight into it. I'm going to switch sharing here so we can share a different, uh, I'll, I'll share a document that will go over here. And bear with me while I pull up the document. This will be the, the primary document that we will be going over. Okay, here we go. So let me double check, make sure you can see my screen. Yes, you can, you should be able to. Right, okay, and by the way, if you have any questions about this, I'm gonna, because I have a lot to cover, I am gonna kind of just go through it quickly and I will reserve some time at the end, about 10 minutes or so, to give you a chance to ask questions, any questions you may have. And I encourage you to do that, specifically if you have questions about any of these items that are on the list, feel free to ask those questions uh, so I can give you more details on it. Otherwise, you can certainly contact me offline and I'll be happy to do that. All right, okay, so let's jump right in. The first promotional strategy as an author is, in my opinion, one of the most important ones. It, it is about building a customer list, okay? This is super important because you can write the best book in the world. No one will buy it, no one will read it. It's never gonna be successful if you don't have people to actually buy the book or read the book. So building a list is extremely important, not just actually as an author, anything else you are doing that promotes or sells something, you need to consider building a list. Now, how do you do that? You, you can do it numerous ways, but one of the ways I recommend doing that is using Facebook. You can put out Facebook ads and specifically actually have a very good, a very defined strategy on how you intend to draw people's attentions to join your list. Quick example, you can set up, let's say you have a book to launch, you can set up a in advance about six months in advance, that's what you see on this column here, column D, that shows the lead time which says that you need to start promoting your book at least six months ahead of time. Longer is better, but six months. You can set up a, a, an ad on Facebook to draw people to join your list. And this works best if you actually have something of value to give them. So that's how you can actually build your list. There are many, many other strategies, but again, I'm gonna focus on giving you promotional ideas, not going into the details of how to implement them. That could be a different webinar that I will be doing at, at a later date. Yeah. Idea number two is book reviews. Of course, this is nothing unusual. Book reviews are important because it, it shows some type of, of social proof. It shows that people are actually reviewing your book and it tells buyers that your book is good for them or not. And one of them is the indie, indie review list. It's a list for, it's a list of, uh, of publishers, or uh, excuse me, of reviewers that generally review independent books. So if you traditionally publish, maybe this is not the best avenue for you to get reviews, but actually there have been people who had success contacting these reviewers. The way to find them is you could certainly just go on Google and do a search for indie reviewer list and it would come up. It's one of the top searches. And uh, the lead time for that is six months as well. You need to do this at least six months in advance. And the vital scores column, uh, column E, is a score that I gave each of these strategies, how important they are on a scale from one to 10. Uh, I have this review, getting reviews listed as number eight on the list. Let's keep moving quickly so we can get through as many of these as possible. The next uh, strategy is book endorsement reviews. So you can get an endorsement generally from someone from who, who is an inf influencer, so someone who's popular and they've done, they have a following on their own and uh, approach them generally within your industry to say, for example, if you're writing a fiction book, 
it may make sense to approach someone who has success in writing fiction books who can endorse you. And the endorsements, you just generally send them a letter asking them to endorse your book. And they will, if they endorse it, the idea is that that person's followers uh, will actually uh, come towards you and they'll be more inclined to, to buy your book. So that's another strategy. Book award submissions. I actually wrote about this in a in a blog post um, called uh, called uh, the book award. Uh, book awards are a uh, uh, a shortcut to fame. Shortcut to fame is what the what the post is called. It's on my blog. You can check it out. It gives more detail as to all the types of book awards you can submit your book to. Some are paid. Some are free. Some are free. But the idea is that if you submit your book to these book awards, you can get exposure immediately because those those uh, organizations will actually go ahead and uh, help you promote the book. So you'll go from zero to, let's say, 50,000 readers overnight if you win an award or, or actually more. An example of that is uh, Kate DiCamillo, and I talk about her and other, other people who have won awards and what it did for their, for their books. Next is uh, a book release offer an exclusive book release offer. So six months ahead of time, and most of these ideas, I recommend that you do them six months ahead of time, is to, to do a, let me zoom in a little bit here to make sure you guys can see this very well. You can do a book release offer and promote it on social media. Not just social media, you can promote it anywhere you can find readers and allow them to what you would do is you would make a, a very, very generous offer. An example would be that if they buy your book, if they pre-order your book before you launch, you're going to give it to them for 50% less. You're also going to give them access to the audio book when it comes out for free. You're also going to give them some other price. So it ha you have to make it enticing. You have to make it exciting. Not just, oh, you're going to get a free chapter of my ebook. No, that's not enough of an incentive for people to do this. But make it attractive enough that people will be willing to, to buy your book or pre order your book in advance so that when the book comes out, you have a list of people you could go to and say, hey, my book is out. You promised that you were going to buy it. Here you go. So that way, on day one, when you launch your book, people are already buying it. Okay? A book launch team. You can put together a group of people. And they can be bloggers, reviewers, other authors that you've worked with in the past. This is why it's important to make to create relationships and and uh, share information and be willing to be helpful to others so that when you create a book launch team, they'll be willing to give you something back and spend time. So this is a, a type of, it could be a type of mastermind group where People come together and share ideas on how you can best launch your, your book. And uh, it could be something like doing a, a social media campaign and going to these authors' blogs and uh, do having a party somewhere, and the, the list goes on. So launching your book, what it does is it gives you access to, to all those people's, the, the launch team's networks, so they can actually come to you and, and uh, help you, help your book gain some additional attention. And it also, a book launch team also can help you set out, uh, set a plan as to how you're going to, how you're going to get the, the maximum amount of exposure possible for your book right from the get-go. And uh, so it's a planning group and it's also a promotional group that will help you promote your book. So they could send emails. To, or uh, tweets to their readers or their followers and say, you know, by the way, I'm part of this book launch. This author is launching a book. I'm helping. Please spread the word, something like that. And uh, so that's another strategy. T-shirt giveaways with or without purchase. This could work. This generally would be a strategy that you would use, again, six months in advance. I have it, I have it as a Three at the three on a scale from one to ten as far as the vital score, uh, because this is somewhat limited in that the best place it works is if you do it at a at a book book uh, book exposition or a book fest 
where you actually say, generally you would have other books you're promoting and you will also promote this book. You don't have to have other books. You could just have a table at a book e exposition six months before your book comes out to say, all right, if you purchase my, purchase my book, this is, you can get this free t-shirt along with the, along with the book and make it a nice t-shirt. People like free things and uh, generally what you would do is when they get the t-shirt, you could also get them on your, on your list, for example, your, uh, your email list, which I mentioned as the number one tip. It can also work offline. You can make, a, if you have a book on Amazon, for example, and you're selling it, you could do a promotion and add a note to your book, to your book description to say, if you purchase this book, you will get a free t-shirt sent to you. Uh, just send me an email and I'll send you the t-shirt, something like that, okay? But there are various ways you can, you can implement this. And I can think of five other ways to do it, but I gotta keep moving to make sure I cover as many of the items on the list as I can. A window decal giveaway with purchase. This would be a similar strategy. You could do it either, uh, again, physically with people at a book, book, book expo, or when you're promoting your book, when you're talking to people, you could go to book clubs, you could give them a, a decal. Uh, and again, make it a nice decal. Be, be, be creative in terms of what would you put on, on the decal and on the t-shirt, actually. Here's an example. I have a book coming up coming out sometime this year, it's called Raising Perfect Children. And one of the ideas I have is to, 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 to build, uh, to create these t-shirts and put some, a very, very funny and catching phrase that parents can identify with on the t-shirt. Um, I am, I already have those actually in place and uh, the t-shirts the, the are being, being worked on right now. But anyway, that would be funny enough that parents would be willing to wear it it's a free t-shirt and they'll take it that has maybe a a hashtag that refers people to in my case it would say something like uh, uh, hashtag raising perfect children or hashtag uh, rpc and there'll be a funny expression on it that people can if they are interested they can go on uh, on twitter and and look it up or I, also one of the other variations of the t-shirt you can create several variations of the t-shirt would be to say, to have a, uh, a QR code, which is a, a code, it's a, it's, a, it's a square box. You've probably seen it in stores that you can scan with your smartphone and it takes you to a website. You can have that on the back of a t-shirt, for example, but the t-shirt ha has to be nice and funny. One of the things that I'll put on one of my t-shirts is to say, um, to say, I, I raised, to say that I raised a perfect daughter. The word perfect would be crossed off just like in my book cover. You know, that's a little bit funny because, well, if you cross off the word perfect in the expression, I raised a perfect daughter, it says I raised a daughter. And then that's a little bit humoristic. Um, but anyway, so just to give you the idea. Um, another thing is this is relatively new. Kindle words, um, Kindle words, and I'm realizing that I misspelled this here. Kindle Worlds is a, a, a new program that Kindle launched and it allows you to sign up online to, to, to work on, on your book, to create your book. And it, it has a potential of giving a lot of exposure once you actually use that program. This is those who use Amazon uh, to publish their books. And it's similar to another program that's relatively new, Kindle Squ Scout. Kindle Scout uh, has allows you to basically what it is is amazon is giving you the opportunity to sign a contract with them an, an exclusive contract to say to say to they give you they uh, put your book online and have other readers kind of rate it and and if it gets enough ratings and is popular enough and it has to be at least fifty thousand words and then there are some uh, some uh, guidelines around that. You can go to amazon.com um, and uh, Kindle, Kindle Scout, uh, do a keyword search for Kindle Scout and it would come up, you will see all the requirements. But you have to have at least 50,000 50, words uh, uh, in your manuscript and uh, submit it to, to them for review. It takes about 45 days according to Amazon's information for them to, to, to get back to you. If your book is accepted, 
this is a huge exposure. This is Amazon is actually helping you promote the book to all their followers. You're going from zero to, gosh, hundreds of thousands of, of readers. And if you can get in there, that's this is a, a huge promotion. And I have it as a nine on the vital score, vital vital rating score in terms of how from one to between a scale from one to ten. So that's it's a very important thing. If you have a manuscript sitting around that has at least 50,000 words and you think you have a great book, you should read it, give it a try. All right. Book review requests on Goodreads. I did a Goodreads webinar on this uh, a, a, a month ago or two months ago or so. You should really watch that webinar. It goes into detail on how to get Goodreads reviews and how to do it right. So this is another strategy. Actually, this is absolutely a strategy you, you should uh, you should definitely do it should be on your top five list if you ask me and on the the vital score that i give it is nine but it actually could be a 10 because it's very easy to do relatively easy but of course you have to have a good book and and if you're particularly if you are a if you are a uh, self-published author you gotta you have to make sure that the book is in a in, in a very good shape it's been reviewed and and edited by at least two editors and that you got a lot of feedback on it before you you start asking people to give you reviews because they'll be honest and if they hate the book they'll tell you so make sure you you do your homework uh, industry publications so these are various industry publications uh, and I give an example here writer magazine and one thing I one thing a lot of authors don't don't do is making connections by going to events and that's why you meet a lot of the it's the easiest way to do this it's that's why you meet industry professionals that do expositions an example is that i went to the to the um, to a, a book convention uh, about a, a few weeks ago and i made a lot of connections that have uh, most of them were industry publications one of them was writer magazine where they were asking for authors to submit ideas for to pitch ideas for uh, to be put on on a cover of their magazine or to be featured on their magazine and uh, i asked her a question then i said what are some of the the topics that you will be covering in your magazine in the next in the next 6 months and she was surprised that i asked her that question because she's been there for 3 days and no one thought to ask, thought about asking her that question so it's about connecting it's about giving them what they want not pitching your book so but industry publications are an idea writer magazine is just one example there is readers digest there is a lot of other magazines out there that you can pitch your your story idea not your book your story idea it could be about the writing process how you got to how you got inspired in writing whatever topic they want you to submit but don't go to a magazine and say hey i have a wonderful book would you put me on your in your magazine put my book in your magazine that's the wrong way to pitch an idea you pitch a story that gives value to that magazine um, and another thing you can think about is uh, i'm not sure if i have it further down the list but uh, i think i'll keep going because we are always almost halfway through the webinar and i'm still not all the way through. Uh, contests. This is important. Contest. Uh, you could do Goodreads giveaways. I am not going to go into too much detail because I had I did a webinar, a Goodreads webinar that covers this in detail. But this is a good way to use, and it has a viral score of eight. A good way to promote your book. Story cartel. Story cartel is similar to Goodreads, where you give away a book, an ebook or a or a hardcover book, to readers and they will review your book uh, in return. I like to use Story Cartel because there is uh, some type of obligation that they are expected to give you a review. Goodreads, uh, Goodreads giveaways, they are not expected, they're not required to give you a review. So that's uh, the main difference. And uh, contest on Facebook. This is a strategy that you absolutely should use. You could create a page on 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 Facebook, promote it and do a contest. Now you'll notice that some of these ideas you have to 
to pay, some you don't have to. So it's a, a mix of both. You could do a contest on, on, on Facebook, and generally the contest, the lead time is at least one month before your book launch, because if you don't want to do it too early, people will forget about your book. You want to do it just one month before your book launches, so that you could give away, for example, something of value. You could give away a smartphone or some kind of fancy device, a, a Fitbit, something like that, that will actually make it so people want to sign up. But don't do it under a month because it would be too tight. You wouldn't get too much attention. So one month, one and a half months would be the maximum amount of time I would recommend uh, for, for the lead time for doing that. You could do the same on Twitter, Pinterest, different ideas of doing a contest. Uh, all these could be separate webinars. So uh, it's hard for me to not go into detail, but I'm trying to kind of hit a balance between telling you enough about the idea without going too much into the weeds. But you could do a, a Pinterest contest asking people to pin a photo or create a, a, a photo of a pin, a photo and pin it to a board that you, you put on your Pinterest board and open it up. You can have a Pinterest board and open it up to other people so they can pin stuff on your board and that could be the contest. The, you could pick a winner or five winners if you have more than one prize and give you can raise awareness, awareness that way. Content sharing sites. I have a an article that I wrote on my blog about how to use content sharing sites. I also have a free ebook, uh, 10 tips to sell more books that you can download and that covers contest sharing sites in detail. Basically what they are is that they are sites that people go to to download information, uh, ebooks generally for free. And they can go from anywhere from presentations to ebooks to to slides, to slides uh, presentations, uh, but it's a good way to use them because these are very popular sites. Paid advertisements, Twitter. You could uh, use Twitter to, to feature your tweets. So you could tweet your information about your book and take out an ad on Twitter to, to show that ad, that tweet, to other people who may be interested in your topic. You can make it very targeted. If you write about parenting like I do, you can you can create an ad that's targeted to parents specifically. And I think at some point in the, in the future, I will do a targeting Twitter targeting webinar to show you some very, very, very interesting and smart tips to get even high profile celebrities get their attention by targeting, the, by uh, putting in place the right strategy and targeting them. And uh, there's, it's not illegal, it's perfectly normal actually because the nature of Twitter is that it's based on, on networks and interacting between different networks and different groups of people following others. So you can certainly consider that. Interest groups, interest group promotions. Uh, this would be groups that, uh, for example, if you write a children's book and there is a, a children's community on, on Google+, Plus, people that focus on children with, uh, let's say, autism, and you write a, a book on, on autism or, or health in children, this could be it. Or if you write fiction or if you write sci-fi, you could target interest groups in, on, on, on Google Plus that focus on sci-fi. And you could uh, specifically advertise to them. That's another promotional strategy. And uh, we are half an hour into the webinar, so I'll keep going here. I'll try to cover at least the first 50 here. Uh, in book promotion leads you would be surprised how many actually I'll ask you how many books <clears throat> uh, excuse me let me take a sip of water here okay how many books have you read where it's a great book and you want to get more information about the author or about what they talked about but there is no way for you to do it well that's what I mean by in book promotions and also leads. You can write, when you write your book, don't overlook the fact that you can put a page in there that directs people to your website. You could put a, a sheet that says, if you'd like additional information on this particular program, go to my blog or go to my website. Or you could say, fill out this form, cut it out of the book and mail it, something like that, so that you have a way for people to actually get more information. And if you write a wonderful book, to be honest, if you write a wonderful book and you have a lot of good information there, 
you are not doing your reader justice by not giving them an option to learn more. So if they buy the book, they become a customer, a one-time customer. If you give them the option to, to get more information by contacting you or going to your blog or website that's possibly set up to give them more information and that's tied to your book, you are, you are giving them a lot more information and making you being a lot more helpful and you're gaining potentially a customer for life. So use in-book promotions and you can, you can link them to, you can also create worksheets in your book or, or refer to, to the book, uh, to the worksheet from within your book and put the worksheet on your website. A worksheet would be, for example, let's say, let's say you write a, uh, a, a book about motivation and you wanna you wanna help people to stay motivated to look for a to look for a new job or how to do a certain thing. You can create a worksheet that says these are the steps you have to follow to get the job that best best fit, best fits you. And that worksheet could be on your website. You could also create a video to give them more information. The video will be on your website. But you could put uh, information on your book, the front of the book or the back of the book to say, there is a series of videos on my website if you want to learn more information. So that person will follow you and will get on your list. Remember the, the promotional tip number one was to get, build a custom list. This is a way you can continue building that list. A QR code, which I talked about this when I talked about the t-shirts, you could have a square QR code that people can, can scan. It will be in your book, inside your book, and they it will take them to their website. Almost everyone has a smartphone now. So why not make it easy on them to get more information by just scanning a code while they're sitting in a dining room or somewhere, okay? A promo sheet, this is for, you could create a promo sheet for your book and put it in coffee shops uh, on, on those walls with where they put business cards. You could just put a promo sheet there make it look nice make your maybe you'll have your, your you will have your book cover not just your book cover add information that actually is useful to people people a book cover doesn't necessarily sell your book you know it, it helps but you have to add information you could put a, a one page sheet a, a promo sheet that will have that information again if you have any questions about all these what they mean contact me uh, i'm trying to cover as much as i can a, a book trailer uh, of course, you can create a book trailer. This is popular. It could be a video trailer. It's a one to two minute video that talks about your book. It looks like a a, a commercial or a a trailer for a movie, a movie trailer, but it's about your book. You know, and it would be generally have a professional do it where they could talk about your maybe your fancy sci-fi book. You know, what, that talks about two worlds where this person needs to make a decision and they don't knew, know what to do next because danger lurks and something like that to to kind of vamp up, ramp up the excitement and get people excited about clicking on a link to to um, to get more information on your book so it's an interactive way to promote your book basically and generally release it about three months before your book your book comes out so so people can share the video and talk about it a little bit you could do paid advertisement on Goodreads. I'm going to skip that because I have, I did a webinar on Goodreads. So check that out. And it also shows you how to set up paid advertisements for your, for your, uh, for your book. A media kit, this is what it is. It's an old, there's nothing new about this. It, it's a, a media kit is a kit that can be given to, it's a good idea to do it. You can give it to people, to publications, as I mentioned, radio, TV, uh, journalists that want a packet of information that that uh, talks about your book and what it is. Uh, I am not a big fan of, of media kits because you know they don't generally have a lot of return because journalists get a lot of information. If you give them something, they'll just add it to the pile of stuff that they have. The best way to, to promote your book, if you ask me, is to talk to the person directly or use one of the other strategies. But if you want to do create a media kit, you can certainly do that. And you could do a Google search and uh, there are various ways, various pieces of information you can include in a media kit. All right, and contests. I talked about this a little bit, contests on social media. Uh, give them a big prize, uh, make it one, one and a half months long. Give, give a prize that's worth 
that would make it worthwhile for people to take part in the contest. And uh, social media, so it could be, I talked about it up, up above, could be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and so on. Do a blog tour. A blog tour is important because bloggers, there are bloggers out there, a lot of them who look for information, and they are constantly looking for new authors to put on their, on their blog. So reach out to them, send them an email, and ask them that you want to take part. The lead time is one month, but you want to contact bloggers beforehand because some of them are booked way in advance, up to three to six months. So maybe you could even change the lead time to and do this six months ahead so you can get in, in at the right time when your book launches. Mass promoting, mass promotion mailing. You could, you could send, uh, there are specific lists of mailing lists that you could actually rent or buy and send send your book information to those people. So that's one way. There are companies, publishing companies and publicists that will actually mail information to your group, to, or to a group of industry professionals, librarians, publishers, other, other book authors, interest groups, and you will generally pay for this for, in, in the, for the most part. And it varies between $100 to, it could be as expensive as $600. But they will send it to 25, 30, 50, 60,000 people on that list. And uh, that gets your book attention. Or really, all you need is one or two people to be interested in your book for, for that, that $100 or $200 investment to be worthwhile. Okay. Blog posts for, for guest blog posts. So there are a couple of websites you can go to to do guest blog posts. This is, this is a long-term strategy. You want to continue doing this as an author, not just a month before your book comes out, but also continue doing it because this will help link back to your blog and your blog will, will gain attention. There are a lot of people who have blogs and websites. No one sees them and they wonder, well, why am I not getting visitors on my website? Well, because no one knows your website exists. There are there is something like 1.5 trillion web pages on the internet. That's a lot of websites and blogs. So you have to find a way to get people to go to your website. The best way to do it is to, to write guest posts and make sure that people are reading them on more popular sites and then they can, if they're interested in what you have to say, then they can say, oh, okay, I'm gonna check this person's website out. Right? In paid advertisement, you could do Yahoo, I know a lot of people think about Google, but Google is really overused. Everyone uses Google, Google uh, AdWords. So you need to think outside of the box. I have tried Yahoo in the past, and uh, the best way to use, to use it, the reason why I liked it was that you could write an article on your website, use it as the, the landing page for the ad that you put on Yahoo, and it's relatively cheap. You can set a budget for 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, and when the $50 runs out, then the ad stops. But this is a way to get a lot of people quickly to your website. So on book launch day or a month before, you could do that. But you have to make sure you have a landing page that's, that's very interactive, where you can capture people's emails and names so you can capitalize on your, on your expenses for advertising on Yahoo. Book Daily, Book Daily will send for much less, uh, I can't think of the price right now. I think it's under, I want to say it's $50, where you can send uh, 50 or 75, one of the two. They will send it to their uh, 25, it's either 25 or 50,000 uh, readers on their website to check out your book, uh, but you have to sign up for the service. Speaking engagements, of obviously, go speak to libraries, go speak with book clubs a month before your book comes out. So they can, and, and if you do this, be willing to, to give away a few books, maybe five books and to say, oh, I have five books to give out after my speech. When you go do this, and that will help you raise awareness. And also when you go there to speak at places, if you can have a, a, a sign up list where people can add their names or even tell them to go to your website. Now that's called a call to action. You have to tell people to do something or they won't do it. That's just the nature of things. People try, like to keep to their, themselves. So they won't do it unless you ask them to. 
YouTube ads, that also works. You can do create a video and do a YouTube ad on it. Um, but be careful. It has to be very targeted and you, but it's an option there for you. If you have a very, a, a book that you think people would want to see on a video, if it's, for example, a self-help book or something that you can create a video about in a very smart way, then you should do that. Paid advertisement, similar to Yahoo, you could use Bing. Book Life is another one you could use. It's, it's I believe it's uh, tied to Publishers Weekly. So they have a lot of people and a lot of industry professionals that you can you can tap into by using uh, Book Life and, and paying for advertising. Local media appearance. People like want to be on national TV, but the easiest way to get on local me on media is to get to contact your local media. If you have a, a, a local TV station, even if it's a community TV station, people are still watching it. Consider using it to get on TV. Generally, if you tell them if it's in the same city, say, and you the pitch should be you telling them, I am native to the city, I created a book, I published a book, and then contact them through their website, follow up, make sure that they are actually f wanting to have you on and promote you. Generally, they'll put an article on the, you know, they can put you on TV for the local station on a shorter segment, maybe five minutes or less, but it's, it's five minutes of TV. So consider doing that. Podcast tool, this is super important. I have it as a 10. Actually, I have a local TV also as a 10 for, for the viral score. A podcast too is important because podcasting is has taken off. It's super, super popular. And I do a podcast, so I can tell you that I am always looking for content and information to put on my podcast. My podcast is motivational. And I generally have to plan this out a month or two months in advance to, to know what I'm going to put on, who I need to interview. And I always need people to interview for my podcast that are interesting and that can provide value to my audience. So if you go on iTunes, that's the easiest way to do it. Contact people who do podcasts and tell them that you are interested in, in uh, doing an appearance for one of their episodes. Make sure you listen to their podcasts, at least one or two of them, to understand how they structure their podcasts and uh, pitch a story, pitch them an idea for a show. And if they accept, you can be, you can be on their podcast. So that's one way that... Uh, it's a very important thing that you should add, promotional idea that you should add on your top five list of things to do to promote your book. Uh, again, local media appearance, this is similar to the TV appearance, radio, you could do the same thing. Uh, book gifts to select industry professionals. Let's say you are a, you write a book uh, that helps, that talks about how to, I don't know, how to build a, a bookshelf or something. And, uh, you can go to professionals in the carpentry industry and say, hey, I have this great book, you know, can you, would you be interested in reading it? Or you could pitch it to people who are interested in doing do-it-yourself projects. And there are groups for that on the internet. And try to give away some books. And, and uh, if the book is interesting enough, maybe they will share it with others and they'll buy your book. So that's another way you can promote. Book signing. Book signing is very basic. But it's not about the book signing event. It's about where you do it. As you can see, there are various places you could do it, libraries, independent bookstores. Uh, if, if you are not affiliated with any publisher, your local school, like a high school that gets sports activities on the weekend where a lot of parents come there. I know this is part of my strategy because I have a parenting book coming out soon. And uh, talk to the school that allow you to have a small table where you can, you know, you can have a book signing there. And... Uh, in my experience, every time you do a book signing, you sell a lot of books. It's just because you're right there and people are interested. Okay, so these are the ideas. You could do it at a local hotel with an event that's tied to your type of book, sci-fi maybe, or fiction. For me, I said Mall of America, that's a large mall. You probably know it. In the United States, it's a largest mall, one of the largest malls in the United States. And I plan on doing a book signing there as well. So you could do something similar to this on your end. Toastmasters clubs. Toastmasters clubs generally welcome authors that can come in and talk to their members. Um, I am a member of Toastmasters. Uh, it, that's how I can increase and improve my public speaking skills. And uh, 
they generally want to have authors come and talk about their books. And uh, this is also a way you can promote your, your book. Coffee shops, independent coffee shops, generally are looking for things to, that add value for their customers. You could do it there. Bagel stores, bagel shops, book clubs, of course, and local, local newspapers. These are cities around me where you could contact the local newspapers very much like what I talked about. You could, if you are part of the community, they will be more willing to, to let you appear on, on the local newspaper. But you have to offer value because they want to offer value to their readers. So, so wow, looks like I covered the entire list. That, uh, okay, that was great. And you could do live Q&A webinars like I am doing right now on Google+. You could offer something of value. If you have a lot of knowledge or if you know something that you think others can benefit from, share it, okay? Let people let people share uh, those ideas with you you can certainly do you can certainly sharing knowledge is one of the the best ways to to allow people to connect with you and uh, the last item on that list was a, uh, a using postcards you could use postcards and uh, promote your book that way traditional mail snail mail because some people still like to receive a uh, postcards in the mail if you get a postcard that that's very nice and it has interesting information that people are willing to to pay for then certainly that would be something that you should consider just because it's a uh, it's snail mail doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing it okay so now I think we are 10 minutes we have 10 minutes left on the webinar if you have any questions for me now is the time to ask it and uh, I am gonna. Uh, I know. I think there's a delay on the, on the on the broadcast. So I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to, to catch up with the delay, and uh, share um, any questions you may have about this. You can go to the, the uh, the Q and A, and then ask a question. Uh, to for, uh, that I'll, I'll be happy to ask. You could type it in also to the Q and A area here okay so we're gonna break for questions here um, but before we do that while I wait for questions I'm gonna share my screen one last time here and uh, and uh, so you can get value out of this webinar so let me share my screen here one last time Okay, every time I do a webinar, I like to, to make sure that people actually get value out of the webinar. So what I will ask you to do is, after watching the webinar, pick 10 strategies. 10 strategies that you, you think you can use to promote your book. Think about the before, meaning before you, you, you actually launch your book. Think about when you launch your book and think about after you launch your book things that you can do to promote your book. So the strategy would have to be carefully chosen. Don't pick too many because if you have too much on your plate, it makes it very difficult for you to, to do it. The, I, I had to be very disciplined over the years in terms of pick one thing, do it, finish it, then go to the next. So pick 10 things, start with one and do it. And the number one thing that people struggle with is taking action. They get information, get information, but they fail to just do it already. Pick something, do it. Life is too short. You have potential, you have a lot to offer. If you are a book author, you have a great book that people wanna read. The fact that people aren't reading it some, somewhat kind of rests on you being able to take action and do what you need to do, okay? So pick something and, and do it, okay? And finally, Questions. I don't see any questions coming in yet. So I will stick around for another five minutes or so to make sure that people have a chance to, to ask questions. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, let's cover, let's go back to our list here.
Okay, so I will go back and, and keep talking here to use up the full hour. We're still not seeing any questions come in yet, uh, but uh, certainly I will talk a little more about customer list building. One way you could do this is to, uh, the reason I have Facebook next to it is that you can use Facebook as your way to collect leads because that's where people are. And Facebook has a lot of groups, as you know, that focus on, on Kindle books and on regular books. There are book clubs. You can create an ad on Facebook that specifically targets those groups. And uh, an idea, a way to do that is, and I'll show you actually an example here. I'm going to go to to my, uh, to my one of my websites here. And I'll share my uh, I'll share my desk my uh, my uh, browser here. Right, okay, so one of the websites that I'm putting together to launch my parenting book is this website, savvyparent.com. And if you look at the website, it's it's got what I was talking about creating a a landing page is this. You create a Facebook ad that links people to this page. So this is my book that will be coming out. And I have something like this that says, you can pre-order the book, you get a free ebook, 50% off. And this is what I was talking about earlier for collecting those leads to add to your list. If someone is interested in this case, I'm, go, I'm, gonna going, I'm going on Facebook, advertising to parents who are new parents or Maybe they need to learn more about how to raise children. I've raised my, my own children and I have been, I was born and raised in, in West Africa where I had to participate in, in uh, raising my nieces, my nephews. And, and uh, so I was very good at parenting way before I became a parent. And there's a lot of things I believe I can offer to other parents. So that's what I have to offer. What I offer in my, in my Facebook ads that when people click on it, they come here and they can pre-order the book or they can sign up and get information here. Uh, and this is what I was talking about by creating a landing page that people can can come here, join join the, the list. And you can also offer other things like a, a video series talking about giving parenting tips to people. So they, that would be a better in incentive for them to join to join your list. And uh, that's also, uh, these are all different things that help you get customers and help you build your list so that when you launch your book, you have people to sell it to. And uh, think about what you can offer to the customer that will tell them that you are serious and they can actually get value out of your product, out of your book. And that will be a stronger incentive to buy your book than your actual book because the, the mistake that many people make is they, they plaster the image of their book, buy my book, buy my book, I wrote a book, I wrote a book, okay? A book is just one thing. People really could care less about your book and my book. What they care about is what information, what value can you as an author give me, the reader, that I can use to, to help me? If you can, if they, if you can make an answer, yes, there is value, then they will join your list and they will be customers for life. So, so that should wrap up the webinar. I am going to one last time take a look to see if we have any additional questions before I, I wrap it up here. All right, so no questions. Well, thank you for joining the webinar. Again, take action. You need to, to be willing to, to do something with the ideas that you are getting. Make sure that you you put this into practice. Make sure you take action, pick 10 ideas and do something with them. And I wish you the best of luck. Certainly go on my Facebook page, like my page. I will, I will like you back and we can stay connected that way. And again, thank you very much for watching the webinar and have a wonderful weekend. Okay, bye-bye.